outside on the patio right now with KSI car expert Dave hey. Stahl. You want to talk about the military motorcycle safety event that's happening, and you brought a friend along. I brought uh, Ricky Gatson, world mm -hmm. famous uh, uh, drag racer on a mm. motorcycle, mm -hmm. and he's going up to Barona today, and he's going to do training for mentors for the motorcycle guys and girls that ride in the military. Ricky, tell us about the program. The program was uh, passed down by the military to uh, for us to certify and, and evaluate level three riders that come in and uh, they have to be able to mentor other military riders because, you know, we're losing a lot of military guys to motor vehicle accidents right. when they come home from deployment. Right. Probably twice or three times as many as, you know, as get deployed. See, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. We lose more military personnel in the U.S. due to motorcycle and car accidents than we do overseas in, in and that's a combat. Shame. And that's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. And that's a shame. And it I've is. been riding motorcycles for 40 years, and safety is, is, oh. is very crucial because I've lost a lot of friends on the street. Right. So, you know, it's my job to go in there. I'm working with Sandy Baller from Driven to Dare, and we are going to teach the guys how to mentor other military right. motorcycle riders so that they don't get hurt. You certainly don't look like you could be driving for 40 years. That's good. <laughs> that, that is good. good. When that he is goes good. as fast as he does, the skin just pulls oh, back. Pulls back. All back. The lines That's your anti-aging secret. Are it these is. your personal bikes? These are provided to us by House of Motorcycles. Thank you to them. Very but nice. this is the new Kawasaki 300, mm -hmm. and this is probably the hottest new entry-level mm -hmm. motorcycle on the street right now. And, and I like what he said about that because most kids that are in the military overseas or reading their cycle magazine, all they see is 1,000 cc's, 1,000 cc's, 1,000 cc's. And ZX-14 ZX And then they the come home and they kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. Where this is a small bike, still looks like a big monster bike, mm -hmm. st will give you all the riding experience and the thrill and the and bug in the teeth. it looks just like the, six yeah. three, the Brother 636 over here. Yeah. That, that was Kawasaki's idea, was to build a motorcycle that doesn't look like a toy. It right. looks like the real deal, the 636. Exactly. So the 300 has plenty of power, but it mimics the Big Brother 636. Right. And, and even if you're not in the military and you're thinking about buying a bike, you're tired of paying $4 a gallon for gas, you think you need 1,000? These, Look these for are, the 300. These are 36, 40 mile per gallon alternatives today. Exactly, that. exactly. So other than that, you still drag racing? I'm still drag racing. I'm the current world champion right now. Wow. I'm running my drag racing school. I have a, the only sport bike motorcycle drag racing school in the world. What's the website? RickyGassandDragRacingSchool.com. You, know, you always like the big guys with tons of money. They got one name and it's all theirs. That's a wonderful <laughs> as thing. As long as it is, right? As long as it is. So now you just now this isn't open to the general public. This is just to let military personnel know if they ride, get involved with uh, you know the morale, welfare, and recreation, or the or the motorcycle safety group on base, and tell them right. you want to be part of it. Right. You get in touch with your command and let them know that you want to be part of this military mentorship program. If you're good enough to do it, because everybody can be uh -huh. a mentor in the military, that's and right. that's a good thing. That's and right. And that's my job today is to go out there and work with these guys, me and Sandy, to make sure that they're qualified that's to mentor right. other motorcycle riders. Watch out, they don't put stripes on your sleeves, buddy. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take right. it with the checks too. Okay, the checks are getting good. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming by Dave always a oh, pleasure and best of luck be safe out there I know you've been doing it for 40 years but you got to be safe I got to be safe I mean yeah. even on a racetrack I go 206 miles oh, an hour in man. seven seconds and we have to be safe we That's have right. to be qualified for and, and you got to be and safe on the street too because when you're going course. out on a road and you got to gear up helmet jacket pants gloves boots mm -hmm. and that's the main thing that people don't understand and even in my drag racing school the stuff that you learn there is not just for drag racing it's so that when you go out on a race on the street yeah. you can be a much no, no, no. more qualified you are right out on the racetrack because all these people think they're on a racetrack the only oh, thing no. missing is a Hans device and a helmet and the lights and the lights yeah. <laughs> exactly all right guys well thanks so much